Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the Pivot Boss pre market video for Thursday, January 6th, 2022. I am Frank Ochoa, aka Pivot Boss. Thank you very much for joining me yesterday afternoon for our monthly market outlook for January 2022, the first one of the year. If you missed it, the recording is in the description below. It is a super sized edition, about 140, an hour and 45 minutes of. Um, of charts, we talk big time cryptocurrency. We're talking uh, anywhere from Bitcoin, Ethereum, Poly, Sol, AVAX, uh, Dot Link, and others. 10 plus different c cryptocurrencies in addition to other stocks and futures as well. So if you missed it or we want to re watch the recording, click it below. Additionally, we are going to be adding. Uh, some Bitcoin and Ethereum to our monthly market outlook so it will be included in this outlook as well uh, each morning or uh, as we see fit so we will be incorporating more Bitcoin and Ethereum to the pre-market reports alright let's take a look here at the ES in the daily time frame what you're seeing right now is uh, a big stop run day in the previous session six day range broken to the downside we quantified the six-day range before and mentioned that we could see about 180 to 220 points. We're talking about somewhere around 200 points of movement. Uh, from that high of about 4,800, we could see a drop as deep as 4,600. That would be about 200 points, in which case we may begin to see some sort of rejection and a turnaround back to highs. Again, this market has been very, very resilient very bullish uh, the index as a whole continues to hold up as um, you know again it remains within that very bullish structure that just hasn't given up yet now we did mention again that the, the key level here is 4750 to 4740 you know we could theoretically bounce into that zone and then see additional selling pressure to the downside we'll see how today develops at the moment kind of an inverted head and shoulder type of thing developing in the intraday time frame so watching to see how that develops again even if we were to sell off deeper into 4600 or maybe even 4500 it would be a great way to start the year with an early discount for a shot at looking at a push back toward highs all right let's take a look now at the NQ you'll see the NQ has seen more of a discount obviously than the broader market tech continues to be sold at a higher rate especially tech that uh, isn't producing at the rate as other companies. Uh, obviously, you still have Apple, Microsoft, things of that nature that are very, very bullish. So after this pullback here, and you see rejection perhaps at this previous month's low, that could provide an opportunity, again, for a buy-the-dip move back toward highs. And again, companies that are very strong right now and pulling back from these highs could provide a great opportunity down here. So 15 uh, five is going to be an area to watch at the previous month's low. If we get a little bit more downside here, that could provide an opportunity to reject and push it higher. This 15,250 is also a CLVN. So anywhere between 250 and 500 over the next day or two, if we can get a drop into that zone and a reaction, some sort of rejection, that could provide a very favorable balance. What we talked about in the monthly outlook last night was in the deepest case scenario, we could see price drop say into 15k and from 15k be a move to 17k uh, this quarter so looking for to see how far this thing flushes out and then once it does do we get ourselves a good rejection that we can work off of all right let's take a look now at crude oil you'll see crude oil very very strong today up two and a half percent two and a half percent big time day higher we knew that there was a good shot to see a rally here. We were hopeful that we might see a pullback into the monthly pivot range. That could provide us another pivot low to work off of. Instead, this thing just kind of raced out of the gate early this year. Um, very, very strong move. We're now back above the key range high. So here's the sell-off high right there, 79.23. We're now about to crest 80. That 79.23 was the high before we saw that. 11 12 point sell off day and then we drop to that strong low at 6240 uh, we've now made it all the way back to that level so this is going to be a zone to watch here you have your FOMC key level here from November that after being sold here 
we're coming back to that level. So 8082 still above as this thing continues to march higher. Uh, uptrending price structure on the intraday time frame as this thing makes a move toward 8082. All right, let's take a look now at Bitcoin. Bitcoin's down about 1.7% here today. What we're going to do here is talk a little bit about the market structure that we're seeing in the longer term chart just to kind of get a quick understanding of what we're looking at first of all we have these bands right here these are the pivot boss bands giving you standard deviations off of yearly VWAP and so you can see anytime uh, we sold off up at these highs it was also coinciding with R3 three standard deviations above value right now you're seeing this was closing value right here at about 47s it went offer to begin the year and we're now approaching S1, S2, here's S3, S3 is down at 30k last time we bounce off S3 down here it was the buys of the year for doubles back to the upside uh, so not saying we get all the way down to 30k but that is a very important area of interest uh, there's a fuzzy level in here at about 4250, 43 and that's kinda where we are 40k could be that fuzzy level but you have this lower distribution here you have this distribution here you obviously have the highest distribution up here and right now we're back inside this range which means 40k could be ahead 40k the bottom of this distribution right here and at that point 40k could turn into 52 and trade in this range or we make a move to 30 and wipe out a bit uh, 30 would be a tremendous opportunity here. Uh, ultimately, once this thing is done and we hit a market structure edge, we could be looking at a decent bounce. So looking for further weakness here toward 40 and looking to see how that plays out in that zone. Uh, if we take a look here at Ethereum, Ether futures here down 5.45% here today. This one's a little different. This one... Um, we have ourselves a good key range to work off of right now. So here's that big key range here. I guess let's draw a straighter line. There's the line here. The lower edge is here, and the midpoint is there. Uh, as we know, if we go down to the key range low and reject, there's a tendency to go back to the middle and then back to the top. And it did it already last year, more than doubled in doing so. Over here, a failure to find acceptance above this key range high. So when it failed, it has come all the way back to the midpoint of this range and there's a potential to go across the range again but this is a key level do we stay in here and stay in this zone and work our way back up or are we working our way back down the structure so we are at a very important level right here that's the key range midpoint that's kinda of where we are right now and uh, this 3250 level very very important early on as a pivot uh, in our monthly market outlook we mentioned last night 2800 is this little structure level here if we drop into 2800 2800 may be a great entry from a long-term perspective to try to push this thing beyond 5k uh, if there's a failure at this zone there could be add back zone uh, in the 1750 zone for a shot at cost averaging and continuing back across this volume profile so right now uh, the ultimate goal for uh, Ethereum by the end of the year here would be 7k 6700 to 7k based off of this key range you have that 100% target that's 6700 uh, based off the previous year's range that's your 25 that's your 50% target as well 66 68 and then you have a round number target of 30 at 7 7k so somewhere between 6700 7k would be a great target by the end of the year in the best case scenario there um, without trying to overhype the price and from that perspective right now we're already at a spot where if you get in now it's a double to that area at 2800 even a little bit better so again trying to see how far we can flush out here uh, if it's only 3250 that could be good enough trying for 2800 uh, and if we get into this zone down here below value that could be too hard to pass up all right, that is it for now. We'll see how this plays out heading into the rest of the session. Good luck, trade well, and I'll see you in the trading room. Take care.